Okay, now that we have the opening and closing graphic, let's go ahead and fine tune our music a little bit. And let's start with the ending, just because I want to. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Keyboard shortcut is Shift F. And let's just listen to it. Okay, we're gonna install it, and I'm gonna show you how to set up your account. So let's get started. What I would like to do is have the music swell just to reinforce the amazingness that is the Cut Yeti logo. So let's go ahead and just backpack a little bit. And if you can remember from a few tutorials ago, I showed you how to create audio keyframes. Now those audio keyframes, for some reason, were giving us issues. So cross your fingers and hope that we don't get issues with this. So instead of creating audio keyframes on my dialog, we're gonna create audio keyframes in the music. So we have the music brought down pretty low. If I hover my mouse over our levels, it's showing that we're at minus 21.33 decibels. And remember, we brought the music down so it didn't compete with my vocals. Well, now that my vocals are thankfully done, we can bring the music back up and have it really swell when that final logo comes up. So if you recall, to make an audio keyframe, hold the control key, your double arrow will turn into a plus sign and then just click with your mouse. So that's one keyframe. And let's have the keyframe, the second keyframe, which is where we bring the audio levels up. Let's have that be right here. And now we just have to click and drag up. And let's see how this sounds. We're gonna back up a little bit, hit the space bar to play. And here we go. Show you how to set up your account. So let's get started. And that sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit Shift G to zoom out. And let's listen to it one more time. So let's get started. Okay, I think that music is coming up too loud. So instead of it, we're just gonna bring it down a little bit. And let's see how this feels. Hit the space bar to play. Count. So let's get started. All right, right there, whenever you hear the cymbals, right there, that's where I want it to hit its peak. So let's just go ahead and click and drag it over. And we want it to be at 5.33. And let's see how this sounds. Space bar to play, your account. So let's get started. And what we'll do is we'll fade out the audio at the end. So we'll start the fade right about here and we'll fade out down there. So we're just gonna go ahead and click and drag it straight on down and let's see how it feels. So let's get started. not too terribly bad. Let's go ahead and just adjust it a little bit, fine tune some, and see if we can make it work. Maybe drag it out a little bit more so it's not such a harsh drop off. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now this is one of the areas that I really think if you fine tune it and adjust it and spend the extra time necessary to make it really feel right, it's gonna set your video content apart from your competition. Because too often people will just toss a dissolve on there or some kind of transition and they'll call it done. But what they don't realize, or maybe they do realize it, they just don't wanna take the extra time to make it great, is that you can go in there and you can fine tune it. Your transition doesn't have to default to a second. You can make it two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, or you can make it shorter. You can make it half a second. And really every video that you make is gonna be slightly different. So a three second fade in this video might be perfect, but for your next video, you spend a few extra minutes, you know, just hearing some different versions that you come up with. And you might realize that, hey, you know what? Three seconds was great for the last video, but for this video, 
four and a half seconds actually feels exactly right. So don't be afraid to experiment. Don't be afraid to experiment with your project. Um, you're not going to hurt anything. You're not going to break anything. You can always hit shift. I mean, you can always hit command Z or com, um, control Z and backstep or um, undo. So please, I want you to experiment and figure out what works best for you. Because the more you experiment, the more you go through a process of trial and error in order to get the best result, the better quality video content you're going to produce and it's going to set you apart from the competition. Okay, so that was my soapbox. Let's go ahead and hit Shift G to zoom out. And let's do something similar here at the front end. Shift F to zoom back in. And I want the audio, instead of it ramping up whenever it comes to me, I want to ramp down. So remember, we're gonna hit Control, click, and let's hit Control, click, and let's have these audio levels go up some. And let's see how this feels. Hit the space bar to play. Hey everyone, I'm Brantley. It drops off too soon. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click. And if I click and hold the shift key on the keyboard, it will lock in my audio levels where they need to be. So that way I don't accidentally drag them up and down while I'm moving them left and right. Just a little time saving tip. Let's go ahead and hit spacebar to play. Hey everyone, I'm Brantley, one of the founders of Cut Yeti. Let's go ahead and extend it a little bit more and then I think we'll be happy. So click on it, hold the shift key and hold it while you drag so that you don't move the audio levels up or down. And release the mouse, release shift, and let's see how this feels. Hey everyone, I'm Brantley, one of the founders of Cut Yeti, unlimited video editing for a low monthly subscription. And that feels pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit Shift G to zoom out. So we've got our audio level set at the beginning, audio level set at the end. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start adding some text that I've already created in advance and you can see how we do that. See you in the next tutorial.